this wine collection is a pretty niche market. What were the challenges of marketing it and maybe the benefits, if there were any benefits of being such a specific and niche industry? Yeah, it's it's hard to reach wine collectors. Um, I think that that's the toughest part um, and something we're still figuring out. But um, we're doing a lot of advertising on Instagram and okay. they do have very granular filters that can get down to someone who's quite interested in wine. Um, I think the ultimate challenge is to convey the benefit of what our product offers you know, without getting into the technical details of like everything mm. it can do. So we're, when we create ad creative that goes on Instagram, we're very much focused on like, what is the use case? You know, how does a collector behave when they go down to pull a bottle out of their cellar? What, you know, things do they think about before they go and select a bottle? Is it what they're having for dinner? Is it, you know, uh, a, B, C, D, whatever it might be. And we try and put ourselves in the shoes of a collector. I mean, a lot of us are collectors. So it makes it easy to just figure out how to get in touch with them. And I would imagine the wine community being such like a connected and, and passionate uh, people. I would imagine there is there there should be quite a significant organic growth. Wine collectors recommending to each other in communities, wine wine uh, tasting events. Yeah, that's it's so true. It's such a connected community and passionate. And I think that that's why it. We always hear like I was using inventory at the dinner table, and my friends were like, "What is that?" Or I was showing mm -hmm. them my three D seller at the dinner table, and they were really curious about it. And then we got a new customer because of that. Um, yeah. So that happens actually quite often. Um, and we see this a lot also on Reddit, um, under the okay. wine subreddit. There's a lot of people who often talk about what's the best wine inventory management software. And it's always like seller tracker or inventory. Um, mm -hmm. There's always these big debates and we always follow them. And we, we sometimes comment to just give our two cents um, on maybe why someone would want to use inventory over seller tracker or even vice versa, because there's always room for two players in the market. You mentioned that the 3D modeling people are showing to each other. I think that technology is both very impressive and uh, very useful, but a very good market way of marketing for inventory. I think that was the feature that uh, I noticed the first time when I saw a video uh, showcasing the 3D uh, seller management tool. That is very like shareable yeah it's uh it is the one thing i think that really catches people's attention i think that paired with our ai assistant vincent um, i don't know if you've seen vincent on some of our some of our instagrams yeah. uh, i think those two things paired together and the whole experience of like asking what to drink to and all the way to like locating the bottle and finding it is a really cool experience of course Thanks for watching this video. You can watch the full podcast episode by clicking here or watch another interesting video by clicking here. Let's continue the discussion in the comment section and see you in the next one.